plea and what the Mushima Kerani say, I will give the two members by privilege just to say something to the CS. Thank you, I Chair. Understand. Yes. Uh, and it's only fair that you give us a few minutes, Chair, and I appreciate that. Waziri, uh, today, honestly, I'm not in the mood. Not just because I want it, because an MCA, an elected leader from my county, has been missing for the past 15 days. Today being 16th day. You mentioned you are not aware of the case. There is a communication from your office that we got through the chair on 24th that indeed the matter is under investigation. It's now two days since we got that investigation. And as a professor of law, uh, you, the whole time you've been educating us on law on how to safeguard the Constitution. From where I sit, I feel like we, as, we are applying the law or we are implementing the Constitution selectively. When an elected leader is missing for the 16th day, don't you think he has, he has all the rights to live? Don't you think as an elected member of parliament, he needs to be, you know, he needs to be implementing and, uh, you know, doing the work he was elected for? That is something as a, as a lawyer I want to understand. Two, when uh, I you said you don't want us to do abductions. Without an iota of doubt, I want to categorically say the government of Kenya is abducting the citizens of this country. Uh, I you, know, that. You, you know, you can only say that if you can substitute that. I'm good kindly, there, Chair. Kindly, you know the procedures. Okay. So withdraw that one, and uh, you are very smart let in this letter. <laughs> as, I, as I go, as I withdraw, Chair, let me just finish the statement. Uh, I say that because this uh, honorable member, Mr. Waziri, uh, got a summon from the security agencies. Two days later, he's abducted. Any person who thinks will know will add, you know, the tabulations that indeed it's the security agencies. If indeed it's not, not the security agencies, uh, Mr. Uh, Waziri, how hard is it for the security agencies to come and say we don't have this gentleman? Uh, Mr. Waziri. My other question is, if an elected member of parliament can be abducted, how safe are we as the citizens? Personally, because of the things I've been doing and going through the meetings uh, uh, in search of the honorable member, I feel threatened, to be honest. I don't know whether I'm safe as, a, as an elected member of parliament because of the things and the meetings we go. Honorable Kenyan mentioned how my community works. The entire county is in Nairobi. It's expensive for us to maintain them. We don't sleep in our houses, uh, Mr. Waziri. We are running from, you know, from one place to another. At one point, if I take you to my house, more than 50 people are in the house because of the elected member. Mr. Waziri, I feel very, you know, miserable that the people who elected me right now, who feel I can bring the elected MCA by just advocating and talking in parliament, that nothing can be heard, nothing can be done. You know, Mr. Waziri, to be honest, I feel like we are in a failed state when you take an elected member, he's a human being, anything, he can do anything. Why do we have the courts? Why do we have the constitution? You are a professor of law, Mr. Waziri. We are not happy from where we sit, even as a country, uh, from, uh, from Ojia, Mr. S uh, Waziri. Waziri, lastly, you said, you, you initially started by condoning the extrajudicial killing and abductions. 
we want when you say something, we mean it as a country. At the end of the day, the people we elected us are the people we work for. We will not support if they have, if they have done something wrong, Waziri. The entire Wajir country, for, from all the six constituencies today, are all out. In demonstrating in the streets of Wajir, besides the government refusing to give them permit, we will not allow Mr. Waziri. We will not allow our elected members to be disappearing. Then there's no need of us being elected in the first place. We'd rather stay home. We'd rather have a lawless country, Mr. Waziri. Okay. You are the Waziri I respect. I have a lot of regards for you. We want our horrible member back. We want our son back. We are not asking for much. It's, he is in the hands of the security agencies. I don't know how to put more than that. Thank you, Honorable Fatima. I think you, you've been heard very well and clear. Uh, Vice Chair, uh, Defense. Uh, uh, thank you. Um, and, uh, Henry, maybe try to... You, you know I left a uh, meeting of defense, yeah. and we adjourned uh, that meeting, so Waziri will not be meeting us. We are adjourned for another, another day. Uh, Waziri, I want to echo my colleague.